Hidden Object Guru here with what's hopefully the final chapter of Mystery Case Files Prime Suspects. Uh, yeah, whew. Rough night last night. That was, uh, that was a bad one. Uh, it turns out you can't pick up and move the microphone a lot without jostling the cord, which first makes my, uh, voice go super low, and then shuts off the recording. Luckily, I was streaming it, so you got to see the end of it if you wanted to, but uh, I was very frustrated. So, we gotta find, uh, we gotta catch a robot who's a fake bender, and now we're going to, uh, and then we're gonna figure out which one of them is the prime suspect. I think, personally, I think the prime suspect, the one who actually stole the diamond, is the jazz singer, but that's just my guesstimation. All right, Aristocrat Hotel, Auto Salvage. So we've only got one place we're going to need a battery this time. That's a relief. So yeah, um, I have given up on playing this game fairly. I don't know if you saw the last episode. I am, whenever I get down to the whole stumped area, I'm just going to walk straight up to the uh, screen and look at what I'm doing. What I'm not going to do is bring the uh, microphone with me. So, what I'm saying is, things are gonna get weird. Uh, now the staff is a bishop's crook, right? No! The staff is something else, even though that is clearly a staff. God, that time I missed the frog, because it was up there in the frog signal, that was, that was pretty embarrassing. C-clamp is right there. Scissors are, wow, just right, you know, Bottom left of the screen. Couldn't be more easy to find. Jellyfish is probably in the sky, yes. A staff and a fish. Is that a staff? No, it's a spear. I'll click on it anyway, because I'm paranoid. There's a ruler. Is that a staff? No, it's a broom. Huh. It's weird, because I, I honestly don't know what they mean by staff. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just keep going. Uh, tenement! Oh no, wait, that's... Yeah, I need the x-ray for that, so there's two that need that. I didn't really look for the battery in the auto salvage yard. And I'm not going to. Rialto Theater. No battery here. Because that's a croquet mallet. See? I've learned my lesson of always thinking that the croquet mallet is a thing. Uh, those are lights, not a string of pearls. I mean, I wasn't asked for a string of pearls, but just saying. Okay, there we go. Orange slices. Nautilus shell. I know where the funnel is. Uh, where was the screw? There's a ridiculous amount of work trying to find the screw. And then I've apparently forgotten immediately. We may use a hint for the screw later, or like I said, we might be walking up to the screen. Who can say? Now when you say bass, do you mean the fish or do you mean the instrument? Probably the fish, because that's a bass right there, uh, which makes it a bass. Is that the screw right there? No, that's just uh, detailing. Alright, gonna take a few seconds to look around. Not gonna get my ego wrapped up in uh, that. Rubber chicken! I love the rubber chicken every single time. Ouija board, they didn't even try to find hide. I tried to find it, they didn't try to hide it, is what I was getting at there. Wow, the pylon is right next to it. One orange half. I'm glad there are so many orange halves in the game, because they're always simple to find. The club is on the pillow. I have clicked it enough times. That is not a challenge. What's the crescent moon situation? That's one. Really hard to click on. Um, domino, pendant, three crescent moons. Domino, pendant, three crescent moons. Okay. Huh. You wouldn't think a domino would be that challenging to find. It's got to be pretty clear. It's got to have dots on it. It should be white with black spots, black with white spots, or sometimes brown or red with white spots. So, theoretically, that should be in... Like, very, unless you mean domino mask. No, you don't mean domino mask. Because you would have said domino mask. Domino, crescent moons... Pe oh, there's the pendant. Alright, so we're going to take a break from this screen, come back later. Oh wait, is that a crescent moon? No, that's the eye of a ghost. Okay. Well, just for the record, I'm not going to be... The, I 
I am definitely not the first person to have confused the eye of a ghost for a crescent moon. That's like a could happen to anybody type of situation. Sewer! Belt? Damn it. No, I'm, the belt's right there. I know that now. All right. A bottle, yep. And saw. What's the jack look like? Is that it there? That is not it. Uh, okay, plunger, missile, jack, handsaw, pipe wrench, fork, baseball. Well, I know where the pipe wrench is, and I know where the baseball is, but I don't know where the missile is. I think it might be drawing of a missile. Is that a like a sh ghost of a fish on the side of that pipe next to the calipers? Maybe. Hopefully we'll never have to find out. Um, fork. Alright, so we need... Oh, there's the battery. So we're fully able to do the uh, terrible screens that I hate the most. Just in case you're wondering, is he going to be optimistic about this? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Uh, so handsaw missile jack. I would like to get at least one more item before we move on. That would be for the best. Oh, wait, I just realized the jack could be a playing card. Although, for that to be true, there would have to be a playing card on the screen. That's another uh, seal punch. Oh, there it is. It's a scissor lift looking jack. Which I'm fine with. Hey, there's a C clamp. This is not the screen I needed the C clamp on. Oh, no, wait. I already found that C clamp. So, oh, there's the missile. I got confused because I thought it would look different than the rocket that they asked me for in another screen. But no, it's the exact same item. So when you say hand saw, do you mean the, the kind that... Uh, you used to cut through, like, wood, so just a long piece of metal with jagged parts. You mean the one with the loop over the top, um, and a thin metal thing at the bottom for cutting through pipes. Although I'm sure that has a special name. Is that it up there? No, that's a bow. Uh, okay, let's just, uh, get out of here. We'll come back if we have to. Probably we'll have to. Mingo's Playhouse! That's been going well, right? Club. My god, how do they ask me for a club every time and I forget it every time? Oh, wire-rimmed glasses. I remember these as being almost invisible and I forgot right away where they were. At least the bellows are pretty obvious. I knew that was the carrot. It was very fair of them to put the green part on top of the carrot. I would have had a lot of trouble finding that otherwise. What I'm saying is that that's just a comb. That's not a hair pick. You can't just use these terms, um, what am I looking for? Interchangeably. Wow, that club was really easy to find. I don't know why I was panicking. Uh, snowflake is right there, unless that's supposed to be a ship's wheel. It is a snowflake. A domino again. Oh, I've got, uh, mail. I'll be right back. It only this second occurs to me that before getting that up to get that mail from the postman, I should have paused the game, because I've just lost two minutes. <laughs> of what is doubtless going to be a close one. Uh, domino key wire rimmed glasses. Domino key wire rimmed glasses. What, you can't just ask me for the GD golden paperclip again? Oh, there's the wire rimmed glasses. Right, they were hidden by the recording bar. That's why I remembered about it. That's why they stuck in my mind. Uh, okay, there's the domino. It was in plain view. I mean, I didn't see it right away, but it wasn't hard to find. All right, let's do this. Okay. Uh, savings and loan. We've only been there like... Oh, god damn it! Ah, oh, three see-through screens, everybody. Because this game is the worst. Paper lantern. Yep. Pineapples. Also, yes. Cheese grater. Yep. You know, memorizing where that typewriter would have uh, was would have gotten me a lot of help later on, but I didn't. Two ducks. Well, there's one. Is the other one floating around. Yep, there it is. It's a rubber ducky. That's you got me, game. That was a good one. Uh, scorpion typewriter paintbrush. Scorpion typewriter paintbrush. Is it a picture of a scorpion? It is. If I could get the paintbrush, this would be a. Uh, quite a victory. That is not a paintbrush, that's a corn dog. 
which is, in many ways, the opposite of a paintbrush. Uh, which is seemingly a joke I'll never tire of. Like, I keep doing that exact same joke over and over and over again. And, I mean, I know it's not clever per se, but I just like the sound of it. Because it, like, actually leads me down a path of trying to figure out a way in which a typewriter is the opposite of it. Sorry. In which a, I don't even remember what I said to start it. A scorpion is the opposite of a paintbrush. That's not what I said, but you see the point I'm getting at. I can't believe we have to do three see-through screens. All right, let's do it. Spade, orange, yin-yang, dynamite brush. Uh, is that a brush? No, it's a pencil. Spade, orange, yin-yang, dynamite brush, two fish, glass eye. There we go. Dynamite. You need a soda bottle? No. Lightning bolt? Yep. I need an orange. I need a yin yang. I need not one, but two separate fish. Spade, orange, brush, two fish. And, Hoguru, it is now your job to remember that by spade, they probably mean the symbol from a card, not a spade for digging, which is the trouble you keep getting into. Okay? Thank you. There's the orange. Brush and two fish. There's fish number one. Spade, brush, two fish. Spade, brush, two fish. This is too many items for any human to grab. Just wanted to put that out there. Spade, brush, two fish. Spade, brush, two fish. There's the spade. Uh, sorry, one fish. Then there's the fish. All right, um, I'm calling it. Come back for the brush later if I have to, but this is, this feels pretty good. That felt like an accomplishment. Uh, okay, two bells. That, not gonna be a challenge. Dartboard, yep, got you. Artichoke should be off to the left somewhere? No, off to the right somewhere. There it is. Checks right at the top. Tape measures in the cubby hole. Don't remember where the heart is. Off the top of my head, but, you know, I can find it later if I have to. Two pairs of glasses and a hanger. Hanger is made of wire. So it is impossible to miss, but incredibly difficult to cling on. click on. Uh, there's one pair of glasses, and there is... I'm not seeing the second pair of glasses just yet. But I can use a hint now, so that has accomplished its purpose. Uh, okay... So I'm looking for a heart and a pair of glasses, right? Uh, the glasses, like, in their case or something, which would actually make them harder to see. As we learned in the, uh... The mind readers, fortune tellers thing. Nope, they're just in plain view. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go check out the bank vault, shall we? We we shall, because I'm in charge of that. Uh, boda bag. See, I don't know what a boda bag is, so this is going to be a problem. Two fishing lures, wing nut, spark plug, rooster, fire extinguisher, old boot. No, that is the fire extinguisher. All right. Seriously, like, it makes me want to walk over to the computer. The other computer, obviously, I'm using this one right now. Uh, and s Google the term Boda Bag, because it's something I don't know that I've ever heard in my life. There's a knife! Do I need a knives? Sorry, knives? Uh, bacon? No. Fork? Also no. Fan? No. So fishing lures are, like, tied up... They either look like miniature fish, or they look like bundles of feathers, right? Well, that bundle of feather wasn't a fishing lure. It could have been, it just wasn't. Alright, come on. Fishing lure? No. Boda bag! Alright, apparently, a, uh, a wine skin is a boda bag. I had never heard that term before in my life, but now I know, for future reference, when they say boda bag, they mean wineskin. 
That is a pear. That is a dragon. That is a ship's wheel. That is a d pipe on top of the dragon. That is, I don't know, a crown or a bracelet. Could have been a crown sideways. There's a pacifier on a... Oh, oh no, sorry. That's just a bottle. Uh, we've got... Uh, inchworm. We've got a heart. We've got a watch. I also need a pine cone. This is going disastrously. <laughs> On the last screen, I had found half of the items by now. Old boot? Yay! Is that a fishing lure? That looks a lot like a fishing lure in my defense. And that's just a fish. Alright, let's do this vertically. See if that gets us anywhere. You see, I think I'm uh, slightly disadvantaged by the fact that a fishing lure can look like anything. You see what I'm saying? Rooster! Hey, we're down to four items on this screen. If I could get that down to two, we can safely flee and go work on the other screens. Uh, or if I find one of the fishing lures, we can leave and go to work on the other screen. There's the pine cone. Come on, spark plug. You're the only item that I definitely know what you look like. I think I know what a wing nut nut looks like. It's one of those nuts, right, that has the the flops coming off the si flaps coming off the side, so you can grab it with your bare hands and twist it, right? They're the ones you flick with your finger and they spin around quickly. So that's I'm thinking about the right thing, aren't I? Uh, they're also a popular term to use for a crazy person. Oh, come on. How is it this difficult to find a fishing lure? Alright. That's a key, not a wing nut. Also, spark plug? How hard can it possibly be to find a spark plug? The answer is, su may surprise you. It's incredibly difficult. That's a flashlight, dummy. Nope, not a wing nut, not a fishing lure, not a spark plug. That's a cigar, I see. Wait, no. I got a cookie. I don't need one. Wait. Also, no. We've got a... I don't know, fortune cookie or something? We've got a... Nope. Oh, that's an eagle in front of the uh, cobweb. Nice. At least this thing isn't packed with guns. I remember that scene from... Uh, uh, babysitter. Where you pop open the uh, safe... Uh, to do a hidden object scene and there's like a gun in the safe and I'm like considering you're dealing with an evil hook-handed man wing nut yay we're done and there's a fishing lure on the dragon's head it actually went pretty well um, uh, and I'm like you know you're dealing with a evil one-armed man maybe bring along the gun with you but of course, she doesn't realize the kind of danger she's in. Spark plug. Until she's out of the uh, area where that gun is. So within the narrative, it makes sense. She doesn't just grab the gun and start waving it around. Much as I might have liked the character to do that. Uh, okay, let's, let's start at the palm reader, shall we? We've got 16 minutes left. We've got to get two crescent moons and a domino. The domino on the previous screen was a joke to find. Well, not immediately previous, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, so, how hard could it be to find this domino? At least twice as hard. I'm kidding. Kidding. It's, it's much more than twice as hard. Alright, so we're going to take a cursory look at each screen, trying to grab uh, the last item or two. And after the cursory looks are over... I'm going to do the thing where I get up and stand a foot away from my giant television and just scour it for the item. I'm not bringing the microphone this time, so it's going to sound weird. And I apologize for that in advance, but it's important that we beat the game. 
I can't tell you exactly why it's important. I think it's the natural... Yes! I clicked on what looked like just a shadow or a line to me, just reflexively, and it turned out to be right. I can't tell you exactly why it's important to me that we finish this game. I think it's sort of a natural human inclination not to see things you start unfinished. Um, and the fact that I'm putting that uh, to work on something of this little importance, you might say disconcerting. Some could say my brain is uh, wired improperly to value unimportant things, and I couldn't debate that point. Four more items, everybody, and we're out of here. Mingo's Playhouse. Key. Where, um, sorry, I'll use the German. Voice der Key. I don't know the German for key. Uh. Wait, do you mean a piano? No, you can't mean a piano key, because there's a hundred of them, and I can't click on them. God, at that time, they're like, click on a nut! And there was a peanut right in the middle of the screen at the bottom. Like, just in plain view. And I clicked on it a bunch, and it wouldn't count it. And it's like, oh no, we want the kind of nut that you, you put on a bolt. Well, you didn't say that, did you? I was technically correct. And this isn't one of those situations where you said, get me two nuts. And then I clicked on one, and then I clicked on the other. Because both were technically kinds of nut. No. It was you cheating. Oh, the key's in the beer class. God, I saw that ages and ages ago and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> that was kind of nice. I I'd totally forgot about that. Uh, all right, auto salvage yard. A staff and a fish. All right, I still don't know what a staff looks like is the problem. Like a fish, there's only so many kinds of fish and they all have fins. They all have tails. Unless an eel is a fish, which I guess it probably is, so this could be an eel. Wow, my uh, my sureness really stripped away quickly there, didn't it? Uh, okay. So, just for the record, there's no fish in the sky, right? There's a paper airplane, there's a, there's a King Kong, there's a UFO. There's no... Uh, Uh, fish, 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 fish. Wait, no. I'm thinking of the uh, the rooftop scene from the last game where there was like a fish on a pipe, and it was ridiculous. Okay, I got a possum. Now there it is, next to the possum. Still no idea what a staff is supposed to look like, but I found myself a possum fish. Uh, so I'm gonna leave. But I will be coming back to finding out to find out what they think a staff is. Because again, it's not a shepherd's staff, which is right there. That I clicked on. That is a kind of staff. It's also a shepherd's crook. The point is, it is technically speaking a staff. Typewriter paintbrush. That's a regular brush. Alright, I am getting really close to just walking over there and having a look. Typewriter. Whew! One more item and we're done, and I didn't even have to cheat. Although you could say that getting that close to the screen isn't technically cheating, it feels like cheating to me, so I'm going to continue referring to it as such. It's not something I... Because it's not something I normally do in the process of beating a hidden object game and it gives me an advantage, I feel like it's cheating. In a way that I don't feel taking a hint is, because a hint is within the game rules. And honestly... Using four hints at the end of uh, one of the rounds of finding 70 items is one of the pleasures of this type of game. One more item, Hoguru, and you've got... Give yourself a minute to do it, and then give up and go uh, walk up there. Come on, Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon or a Domino. It's really driving me crazy that a Domino is this hard to find. If you've been seeing it this whole time, I apologize that uh, it's it must be frustrating to watch me stumble about with no idea where this domino is. And I apologize for that. thought that might have been in the fret of the guitar, but it's obviously not. It's not on the head of that statue. 
I need a domino and I need a crescent moon. We can do this. This is happening. Not immediately, but eventually. Oh gosh darn it. All right, I'm, I'm getting up. I will be right back. Domino, crescent moon, let's do this. That's a full moon. No, it's a crystal ball. Domino, got it. It's so well hidden that I feel like I'm being cheated, but I did find it once I walked up to the TV. And this is a situation where, from where I'm sitting, that extra seven feet away, it's functionally invisible. Until you know where it is, and then it's the, you know, plane is the nose on your something's face. Uh, okay, let's do it. Auto salvage. What is, what did you mean by staff? You meant music staff! Again, that should have been two staves. I should have been asked to find two staves, and that would have been fair. I still don't see it. Oh, it's on top of the, okay. Two staves should have been what that said, is what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna stop saying the word staves, but it's true. Oh, do I want the crescent moon? No, I should probably do the stuff in the see-through screens. Fishing lure, what did you think a fishing lure looked like? Screw you, that, that was just a fly. Y you had me click on a fly. Oh, the heart's on the chair. I'll just click on it. You know what? No, I'll just click on it. I've remembered where the heart was. That's great. All right, robot. I know you're a prime suspect already, so this is not this is just wasting time. Lock, lock, puzzle bear. Lock, lock, puzzle bear, tiger music. Lock, lock, puzzle bear, tiger music. Lock, lock, puzzle bear, tiger music. There we go. Lock, lock, puzzle bear, tiger music. Lock, lock, puzzle bear, tiger music. Oh, there's another lock. Stained glass, so glass, glass, oh. Tiger. Uh, fingerprint gavel, glass, glass. Fingerprint, oh, there's the flower. Where was the flower? Ah, there it is. Wait, that wasn't the flower? No, it's a slightly different flower. And there it is. Nope. <laughs> I can only get that wrong so many times before the law of averages sets in. Uh, that's more dartboard. There's the other lock. We've got more puzzle pieces. So there's three different kinds of puzzle pieces this time. More dollars. There's the clock. Stopwatch. Did we ever see the stopwatch? Oh, hey, the flower. Totes forgot about that. Uh, dartboard. Nope. There we go. Hey there, Hoguru. Calm down. You got seven minutes left. You could just hang out and do nothing for five of them and you'd still win this? So maybe panic less? Stopwatch. Nope. Aha! Stopwatch. Gavel. Dartboard. I enjoyed saying dartboard. Thank you. And done and done. And I mean done. Yes, yes, the robot's a prime suspect and he loves living in the sewer. Do you want to do something crazy? Well, not crazy crazy. I think I might have played this game before. Or watched someone play this game before. Or helped somebody play this game before. But Because for some reason, a robot in a sewer is familiar to me. That can't be right, can it? No, I can't have played this game before. Well, whatever. I still think Jazz Singer is the, uh, the prime suspect who did the jewel heist. 43 minutes, 78 items. Let's do this. 78 items. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Toilet plunger. Obviously. Brush. Not a paintbrush this time. 
because, you know, middle fingers aimed at you, Hogaru. Uh, grapes time clock? That's time clock as in what you use to check in at work, right? So that's that thing. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Grapes. Oh, there's... I wish I could say there's always grapes, but there's not always grapes. There's just usually grapes. Um, which I found here before, so I knew we're right there. Two keys. Those I've been looking at the whole game, so there we go. Hi. Thank you. Uh, corn dog brush telephone scissors. Corn dog brush telephone scissors. Is it a picture of one of those things in the background? No. Corn dog brush telephone scissors. So the corn dog is often hiding amongst. No, it's just sitting on top of the thing. It's going to do a whole thing about how they hide corn dogs usually. So savings alone. No, 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 no. Community club. Yes. Rialto Theater City Dump. Okay, so there's two places we need a flashlight for. Tomato, yes! Pistol, I'm not really seeing immediately. The chain, I remember. The skull, I really remember. Firefighter's helmet was always in plain view. Uh, where's the seagull? Anyway, sailboat. Um, that's not a sailboat, that's an oil derrick. Oil rig, we've discovered that in the past. There's the battery, so that's something. Pistol, sailboat, seagull. Pistol, sailboat, seagull. Uh, okay, pistol, sailboat, seagull. Let's just move on. Not gonna get hung up on this. Uh, okay. Uh, pistol, sailboat, seagull. Rialto Theater. Spear. Yes. Shirt. Hell yes. Pipe, not so sure. Oh no, the pipe's right there. Bicycle horn. Uh, paddle. Cowboy hat? I don't remember the cowboy hat. Huh. Anyway, air filter. Fern leaf! Alright, so let's take a quick gander. There's the cowboy hat. Alright, that one, that was painless, huh? I felt great. Palm reader. Avocado half. Oh, well, that was super obvious. Grapes! Shepherd's Crook, or Staff, if you will. The Domino again. Golden number is 1616 or 1618. I can't... It's 1618. Uh, if that becomes important later in the game, let's both try to remember I said 1618. Could we? Thank you. For all your assistance. Truly, it's been invaluable. Where was the... Pl oh, yeah, the plunger is in beyond plain view. All right, if I could just get another run like that, we will be at a place where it's going to be one minute per item. Oh, god, also the god, community club. I hate that so much. Spider. Two dice. Come on. Dough nut. Wow, I don't know that I've ever clicked on the donut before. Neat. Uh, there we go. Grapes are next to the champagne bottle. But if you click on the wire of the... Sorry, the spoke of that tire, it will think that's what you wanted to click on, even though you'd have to be crazy to think that. What I'm saying is this game doesn't help you out. But that's always been true. Boot! Oh my god. One more run like that, and we're going to be having one minute per thing to complete. This is going to be great. Oh no. Wrench. Miniature, basically impossible to see wrench. The acorn, I will never forget because it's the black acorn. Uh, hand? That's a glove, not a hand. Oh, there's the hand. Does it have a severed arm part? It doesn't! Yay! Drill is fairly obvious. And now we have one minute per item for the rest of the game. Hell yes! Uh, dagger! Is that a dagger? No, that's a sword. Or sword, as the kids say. Uh, dagger is not jumping out at me, so I'm just going to take a pass on the rest of this screen. The rest of the screen. One item. Uh, is that a dagger? Nope, that's a hatchet. This does really seem like a tunnel of terror. Uh, savings and... No, there's four of them. Are you kidding me? Oh, I do remember where the ship's wheel was. Pearl necklace, old scroll... Is that the old scroll back there? No. Spear, grapes. Got the grapes. 
avocado. But is the avocado in uh, in half? Is it a full avocado? Like, come on. Uh, there it is. It's a half avocado, or else it would have been unfindable. I'm just swoosh, swooping around, assuming a uh, pearl necklace is going to be super visible, just swooping around. And you know what? I was right. That's a spark plug. Horsey! Spear, high heel, shoe. Spear, high heel, shoe. Spear, high heel, shoe. Spear, high... No, that's a boot. Spear, high heel, shoe. Spear, high heel, shoe. Spear, high heel, shoe. Spear, high heel, shoe. Ah! High heel, shoe. Alright, and that's the spear right... No, that's a dagger. But let's see if there's another shelf it's lying along. Is there a spear on that coat of arms? There is not. Spear old scroll. You know what? Taking a pass. Come back here later if we have to. We're probably going to have to because I think historically... Got the whole old scroll. We've seen how terribly I've done it finding... Oh, there's the spear. We're done. I had finding stuff in the community chest. Curiosity shop! Oh, hell. I hate this so much. The seventh letter is... This is going to be really embarrassing. G? It is G. Wow. I, I mean, I said it instinctively, and then I counted it out, and yeah, it is It is G. And it's right there. Okay, that was less difficult than I thought it was going to be. A red totem. Well, that's just a regular totem, so that's not it. That is the red totem, apparently. Hmm. Grapes are where? Is this one of the screens I had trouble finding grapes on? I hope not, but you never can tell. Open book. Oh, open book. I remember that one. Uh, okay. Sailboat. Is it near all the fishies? It is! We definitely used a hint for that before, right? Yeah. Snake one! Bell grapes. Snake. Wait, didn't I click on the grapes? Oh, no. The grapes were I was having trouble finding. They were in a side. They were a picture of grapes. On the water pitcher. That's why they were so hard to find. Uh, a picture on a pitcher. Although I guess that's technically a coffee pot, not a water pitcher. So, my, my bit doesn't really work. Alright, I need a bell and I need a snake. How often have we heard those words? What's that? Never? We've never heard those words before? Okay, strong point. Uh, no. Wait, bell. Alright, we're gonna let the snake... I'm kidding, we're not gonna let the snake lie. It's right there. It was in with all of the plants, and I thought it was a branch or a vine originally. 21 items and two screens we haven't even touched yet. This is going okay. Chimp! Where was the chimp? I remember the chimp so well. Top left, top right, where was he? Alright, male symbol is... That's female symbol. Dragon is down here. That one I remember. Paper, airplane, club, film reel. I assume you mean the club for, uh... No, that's a flirt -a Yin-yang symbol? Nope. Watermelon should be down here somewhere, yep. Film reel was not way off on the right side, as I expected. Male symbol, chimp, clothespin. The clothespin's right up top, that one I recalled. That's the female symbol. Stop looking at it over and over again. It's not going to transform. This is game was... I was hoping a Viewmaster counted as a uh, film reel. I mean, it obviously is a different thing than a film reel, but I thought they would give me a pass on that for ingenuity. I was wrong. Paper airplane. You'd think that would be really easy to find. But, oh, there it is. It was really easy to find. I didn't even get to finish my complaint of, but that would be wrong. Hey, where's the puzzle piece again? Yeah, it's impossible to see right there. Alright, wait. No, that's the female symbol again. Stop looking at it. Hangman! I love Hangman. Alright. Okay, we've got... A pen. We've got matches. We've got a pear. We've got a chimp. We've got a male symbol. Again, how is the chimp this hard to find? It's a chimp. 
the rat is right there, just walking around in plain view. I thought it might have been a paper chimp. Although that was obviously not a thing. No, wait! The chimp face on top of the ballet dancer! Oh! Well, you should have said chimp face. Oh, the film reel's on the guy's tire. Alright, so I'm at a loss for the male symbol. Unless this plum bob is secret. No, okay. That's not good. Um, let's do the club? You know what? No. We're taking a pass on this for now. I'm just going to look at every piece of paper individually in the hopes that I see a male symbol or a chimp or a club drawn on it. And then I will go to the next screen. I'm not going to get hung up here when we've got... Wow, 32 minutes left for 15 items. We, we got to the point where it's two minutes per item now, which is great. Oh, there's the club. Carefully searching each piece of paper was a, a great result. Uh, done and done. Oh, is this a male symbol? Because it's an arrow coming out of a circle? It is not. Wait! Arrow coming out of a circle! It was a water stain in the shape of a uh, male symbol. Which, sure, why not? City dump, everybody! Wow, the skull was right where I started. Anvil, soccer ball. There's the anvil, there's the soccer ball, there's the... Club. I swear I'm not planning this. That just worked out incredibly well. Club Apple Eagle, two lizards heart. Club a Apple Eagle, two lizards heart. I remember the apple being like behind something, uh, kind of unfairly. Does that? Yeah, there it is. Club Eagle, two lizards heart. Club Eagle, two lizards heart. Club Eagle, lizard heart. Uh, frog doesn't count as a lizard, right? Because it's an amphibian. Also, probably for other reasons. Club Eagle Lizard Heart. So, um... The, uh... Club! The book Jurassic Park has one of the silliest reveals in it ever. Uh, because... They're like, uh... What if there's more dinosaurs out there? There can't be more dinosaurs out there. They, uh, they're all ladies. We would have made them all men, but they'd, get, they'd constantly be fighting, so uh, we made them all ladies instead. Heart? No, that's a top of a dart. Which, you know. Um, and so they're like, uh, well, see, I'll prove to you there's no more lizards than we thought there were dinosaurs. Obviously, I meant to say, but the lizard came in right then. Here, look at this book. Eagle Heart. Eagle! Uh, look at this computer. I'll ask you to confirm uh, that there are 165 dinosaurs out there. And it's like, confirm. hundred. It does its search of all of the cameras and motion detection. It's like, confirm 165 distinct dinosaurs. And then, I guess, uh, probably, I don't know. Jeff Goldblum, maybe, is like, what about the, uh, what if you asked it if there's 180 dinosaurs out there? He's like, well, let's see. 180, yeah, there were 180 dinosaurs out there. Oh, are, are there 210 dinosaurs? And then they just do that for a while. And they're like, oh, there's a ton of dinosaurs out there. We're in trouble. But my question is, they were only putting out a set amount of food for the, like, what I'm saying is, uh... There's, there's the herbivores, which who cares if there's plenty of them? They're herbivores. And then there's the meat eaters. And they were only putting out a set amount of food for the meat eaters. Which means... Like, so the herbivores can breed more and have more because they can just eat plenty of uh, grass and leaves and nobody notices, right? But what about the, the giant... Seriously, how is a seagull this hard to find? Uh, what about the meat eaters? Like, were they breeding as well? Or were there literally just the four? Because the way I think about it, I think there might have just been the one tyrannosaur and the four uh, raptors. And if that's the case, then the entire plot line about the dinosaurs breeding out of control is never a threat in the story? 
and never really comes up. And the more I think about it, the more I think that's accurate. Except for, I guess, the compies, which are, um... Uh... What do you call it? Uh... Omnivorous. And, uh, they bite John Hammond to death in the book. As he is, uh, punished for his hubris. That doesn't happen in the movie. Ian Malcolm doesn't get killed in the movie. Uh... He, uh, he survives to star in this terrible, terrible sequel. So, they're making Jurassic World. Uh, and here's the big question. Sailboat Seagull. Sailboat Seagull. We can do this. Uh, here's the big question about Jurassic World 2, whatever they're calling it. Is, is, are any of the, the three lead actors from that first movie back? Is that a sailboat? No. It's gotta be a picture of a sailboat or a model of a sailboat, but I'm just not seeing it. Party hat! You know, the first time we were here, they had us click on the party hat. There's the sailboat. We're done! I didn't even have to get up and get close to the thing. Please tell me where the seagull is. I know you're going to humiliate me, but... Oh, the thing I called a dragon over and over again was actually a shadow of a seagull. Why did I assume that was a dragon? That says more about me than it does about the game. Alright, city dump. Uh, where's this heart you speak of? I still don't see it. Oh, it's a heart-shaped cookie, which I did find before, so... You got me, game. Uh, yeah. Uh... It was funny, they killed off Ian Malcolm in the book, and then they're like, Oh, right, his eyebrow dagger! I totes forgot about that. I'd seen that a bunch of times, but I think I never clicked on it, so it eventually left my, uh, mind. One more item. Can we find it ourselves, or do we have to use a hint? Just for fun, I'm gonna walk up and see if I can find it. They're like, oh, he's the most marketable character. You can't kill him off. Although, he really has no reason to be there. All right, here we go. Oh, there are the scissors. Wow, that wasn't hard at all. Uh, let me see if I can find the brush and the telephone just for fun. Oh, it's the word telephone. Oh. Seriously, game, you know, dual middle fingers, as I'm always doing. Let's find out who the prime suspect is. I think it's the jazz singer. It could be the robot. It could be the superhero. It could be Sleepy Lady, although you'd think she would have trouble being a jewel thief. Ta-da! All right. It was the Sleepy Lady! What? How is it the Sleepy Lady? Like, the one person who... I mean, I am a bad detective, because the one person, it never occurred to me for a second that it could have been... The hell part of the... Oh, yeah, there it is. It's the sleepy lady who has... Mm. Trying to make that sound is not going well. Who has smeared her lipstick because she fell asleep while putting her lipstick on. Sleepy lady, you're the worst. I hate you so much. You've made me look like a fool in front of as many as ten people. I'm never going to forgive you for that. Alright, fine. Let's just wrap this up. I am, I am relieved that this game is over. No word of a lie. Okay, sleepy lady. Yeah, seriously, that bit of makeup from her... Uh, you know, smearing her makeup because she's so sleepy all the time. That is a weird choice, right? Like, I'm not the only one who finds that deeply strange. I'm not saying it doesn't seem accurate or whatever. It's just a weird thing to have put in. Where does this go? Is it lower? Oh, I guess it's lower. Oh. Weird. I really thought that was... Oh, because of the way the screen is formatted. Gotcha! You, you had a natural kind of confusion, Hoguru, and the fact that you were eventually able to just give up on your complaints proves that you're maturing as the kind of person who complains about things in video games. <laughs> ah, you find yourself too funny. That's your greatest flaw. Well, not greatest, but it's up there. Uh, okay, what have we got here? We've got a... Oh, right, it's the vegetable peeler on the chair that we never got to click on. Really? Huh. All right, let's do this. Busted. Thank you.
Thank you. Yep, I know. Oh no, you're telling me I have to find the diamond in a bonus level? Oh, hell no. Okay, constant snoring. License plate manufacturer. Guilt brothers and apprehended larceny. Blah, blah, blah. The diamond, however, remains missing. It could be anywhere. Thought to be hidden inside a box like the one shown in your case of sport. A hint from me declares danger to thee? What? Okay. Wouldn't it be hilarious if it was, like, right at the front of the thing? Like, the first thing you saw? So, danger. I'm not seeing a danger sign anywhere around here. It could be in one of the invisible screens. Are you kidding me? There's lightning all over the place here. Abe's Red Hots. I'm not seeing the word danger again. Flynn's Pub. Nope. Rien de Danger. I think Rien is the word I'm looking for. Millie the Milliner. There it is. Oh no! A puzzle? What am I trying to do? Oh, I see. Oh, I get it! Ah, oh, alright. Well, I, I screwed up, but, you know. I will reset. Alright, so start here and you just go back the way you came. It's actually not that complicated. After the uh, the Ravenhurst um, Rube Goldberg doors, I thought this was going to be a disaster. But that was what? Oh, hell yes! Thank heavens. I do continue to amaze. Thank you for pointing it out. Boom! Uh, ba ba da ba da. Honorary federal agent, London. Yeah, okay, that's the Ravenhurst. She's sending you off to solve Ravenhurst. Whew! Wee doggy, done and done! Oh, it's going to be a different prime suspect. No, I can't do it in less time with different clues. So, uh, we've played Ravenhurst, which means next is Madam Fate, which opened a store page to Madam Fate. I've already got Madam Fate. I'm fine. You be the detective. Trademark. That's not a good trademark, guys. Wow, that is embarrassing. At least I beat Mason, whoever that is. Marple, Drew, Smart. Ouch, Smart's at 420? That's really not good. Gadget, who's of course the same person as Smart, only after he'd been blown up by uh, Chaos Agents. That's that's part of my fan fiction. Anyway, uh, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thank you for coming along on this ordeal with me. Uh, if you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's going to be some buttons popping up letting you know where to, uh, to click to subscribe or to head off to uh, another video that YouTube thinks you might like. Wow. Um, this was this was uh, uh, in an insanity creating slog that in addition to being frustrating to play, also had a bunch of technical errors that uh, nearly made me quit the game and destroyed two re two recordings and compromised a third. So the faster we get away from these, I have to change my uh, screen to 800 by 600 revolu resolution, the better. But I have a feeling we're not done with them yet, because Madam Fate. All right, uh, I am off. I will see you back here on the playlist for more Mystery Case Files. But until then, 
Au revoir.